Hi everyone, welcome to Computer Chair Down Part 2 of 2. Now if we are not going to break the power supply, the motherboard, or any other parts. Um, the only parts I have taken out of this unit are this thing here. Give me a minute. Let's open this out, which fits in there like that. Which will, yeah. So I took in this part out of it. That's why I took it out. Um. Anyway, let's. Yeah. So let's get to work tearing this thing apart. I'm going to try my best to keep this up as I can. Um, let's take this apart. Right here. I'm going to take this top panel off here. Even come off. Oh, there we go. Here it comes, guys. Which one there? Undo some of these clips here. Undo some of these clips around the corners. I've had this off before. And it actually went pretty good. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, technical difficulties. <laughs> Technical difficulties, guys, and I apologize for that. Unplug some of these plugs here. And drag it out here. It's alright, this is an old computer, it's gonna. This case is gonna go in the garbage, but I'm gonna keep the guts, like the, the motherboard. The guts, what I mean is um, the. The um, the motherboard and the power supply. So let's no, not too much. Here we go. Oh, there's two screws at the front. No wonder I couldn't get it off. Remove those two screws. It's not on a magnet where you can't lose it. There we go. Simple. Just like that. On a speaker. Oh, a magnet anyway. Do this. I'm just going to pretend I'm not recording and just continue with my daily life. Hang on a minute. Guys, I'm sorry, that was my dad. 
barging in my room without permission. He knows I'm recording, he knows I'm doing stuff. Man, this string is all that good. Better not come in here again. Oh, what is that? Why are there screws everywhere on this unit? This unit is so stubborn. Come here. I apologize for that. I'm gonna have to edit that part out. <sighs> yeah, I got it off. Well. Hmm. Anyway, guys, that's. with this part here you can see the motherboard in there and everything like that uh, let's get like some of these pliers and cut the zip ties I just discarded now those things like that kind of trash rubbish even Got some wire ties. No, that's a zip tie. Are you kidding me? Kidding me? I just rip it out. <laughs> and get as much out as possible. Because I really am truly sorry about that. I'm sorry. Power switch. Uh, hard drive LED. I'm assuming there used to be a, a hard drive in here. Reset switch. Uh, power LED. Speaker. It used to have a speaker in here anyway. I'm gonna have to yank this thing out real hard. We go this panel for it. The panel. This is the power supply. We're gonna get that out next. Because that is the most value part, valuable part. I no idea what brand this thing is, but... Yeah, let's get the power supply out. My camera can't really pick out of that whistling. Like that. From there, over there, in that direction. We will take this apart in a future video. Huh. Ah -ha -ha. Here we go, little fella. That's for you to come out. Right. Got a ribbon cable. One of those big things. Wow. That was a big ribbon cable. Big hard. 
harness there too. All right, we've got the power guts out. This one is 300 watts. The other one that I took apart was about 350, so that's 50, 50 times more. Let's do the other board now. We count how many screws that we got in total. Which looks like there's a lot of screws in here. Must be a screw there in the middle somewhere, but oh well. Oh, I oh, know what we need to do, guys. We need to get rid of these little bolts here with some pliers. Just want to point the camera up like that. Hang on, down there like that. Oops. Oh, wait, 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 Let's put down like that for a minute and put the camera down again. As I'm sorry about that, I sorry I keep moving the camera. To help release it even more, that's why I undo those screws. Oh. What a surprise. This is for a data projector, so we'll hold on to that. And, uh, yeah. As for Ethernet or Internet, give it one. Microchip number two. Right, let's continue doing this part here and then we're done.
What the fuck? Guys, I'm sorry I had to turn that around. I apologize. I don't know why I keep saying sorry. All right. Okay. I have to stick it inside. Uh, so if you guys want to see me do this now, just the camera up like that. Easy. In the past, I don't stick on the magnet. Just put them inside the speaker where you're gonna, you're gonna do it. Now, um, don't lose these little parts in case you want to plug something into this unit again. Are we going to make another case for it or something? Or get another case? I don't know whether that's possible though. I don't know whether that's possible where you can get another case like this, like brand new. But sometimes, for weird reasons, I find it. I don't know. Nothing, nothing else, just. Almost got it guys, these little parts here, these are tiny. That part there guys. Uh, My face is going red because of stress, but my parents keep interrupting by shouting my name. Wow, I hate that when it happens. Two nuts left um, holding in this thing. Two more nuts to go and then that's it. My pause button doesn't work that well anymore, so I just have to just go with the flow, I guess. These things are unbelievably crazy to deal with, guys. I'm I'm sorry about that. I'm s struggling so much around this thing. Yeah. 
It's starting to get loose now. Alright guys, I'm down to my last one now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight nuts. Eight of these little tiny nuts. Let's get on my nerves. I need those those other pliers. Where are they? Where are they? Set of pliers. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Don't want to lose that. Don't want to lose that. All right, guys. Guys, I'm really almost done trying to get this thing out. Guys, I'm sorry if it's on a little angle. That's as best as I can get the thing on. Yo! <clears throat> you weren't staying in there, huh? Oh! Guys! Spotted the last screw. I needed... I need the camera on a good angle for this. It's located right here. Right here. Here we go. Got ya. And we have successfully removed this thing here. We successfully removed this. And this. And that. Do not try this at home. I'm going to attempt to plug it in. Do not try this yourself, please. Don't. Uh, this may pop a breaker. I don't know, but I. I doubt it. Just doubt it.
Oh, oh, wait. What's the power switch? Power switch. Yeah, I already know it does work, so, anyway, so, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and, yeah, and don't forget to keep it rigid, whatever that means, but. Thanks for watching this little teardown series, this two part series. Here is the review of the uh, motherboard itself. This might be worth a little bit of money. Plus, I got two of them out of two computers. Hang on a minute. Right here, here's the other one. It is right here, gigabytes. Look at the size of that fan on there too. Absolutely massive. Like that. The fan on the other one too. So. These are the two other boards here. Going down which one you like best, whether it's the red one or the blue one. And also I got a power supply. A power supply, which means just one. It's this one here. This hyena one. Switching power supply. AC, 230 volts. The output power is 300 watts. We may do a video on this, maybe. But yeah, guys. There it is there. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for watching this two part series of computer teardown, and I'll see you all next time, bye, and I'll let you know if I ever get any more computers to tear down, bye, subscribe for more.